Tomorrow is going to mark one month since the explosion at the Sandman Hotel in downtown Fort Worth. Tonight, some local businesses in the area are considering joining a lawsuit, all because of the impact all the construction has had on their business and also obviously waiting on the cleanup. Our Olivia Leach speaking with some of those business owners today. For the last eight and a half years, Cowtown Segway Adventures on West 8th Street in downtown Fort Worth has relied on foot traffic for much of their business. But definitely foot traffic is, uh, uh, it makes an impact. It all helps. The explosion at the Sandman Hotel on January 8th, which injured 21 people, didn't just leave behind extensive damage at the hotel. The damage and the cleanup has hurt this row of small businesses that rely on foot traffic to survive. Crippling, yes. The, it, I would say that it, it, it definitely it crippled the business. For weeks, this portion of West 8th has been closed to traffic because of the construction crews. Although the sidewalk is now open, the street has way less foot traffic than normal, which means less customers. It's a pretty significant drop. I'd say 30 to 40 to 5 percent. That's why the law firm O'Hanlon, Demarath, and Castillo, also located here on West 8th, says they're considering whether to file a lawsuit on behalf of their law firm and other small businesses here that have struggled since the explosion. Like ourselves, they suffer the impact. Tim Ballard of Cowtown Segway Adventures says he's considering joining a lawsuit. Of course. The, uh, yes, we, we absolutely would consider uh, being a part of that. I can't say it's a necessary evil, but it's a necessary uh, part of the recovery process. But somebody needs to be held responsible. The law firm says they're deciding whether to name Northland Properties, the owner of the hotel, and Atmos Energy in a lawsuit. They say they could file that lawsuit sometime in the next week. In Fort Worth, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.